All of these products you can purchase at All Foods Plus in the shop um, or online at allfoodsplus.co.uk. And there's a huge variation in a lot of these cloths. Um, I am particularly fond of the cloths made by Beaumont Music, which they sell here at All Foods Plus. And you can get them in a huge range of colors and patterns. Um, they make a really fantastic charcoal impregnated bamboo fiber cloth, which is very, very soft and the activated charcoal is actually antibacterial. So it keeps your cloth from getting mildewy um, and they dry very quickly. But whether you want sort of a, a color coordinated pattern situation or you're fine with basic white or black, um, it is really important to have several microfiber cloths, really. I, I don't think I ever have fewer than three or four going because they do get damp and you wanna make sure that you're not using a wet cloth to wipe your flute, you want to allow them to dry completely. So it's just nice to have a few. And plus it's fun to have, you know, different colors for different outfits. So between the polishing cloths and the silver cloth and a cleaning rod and an interior swab, that's everything you need on a basic level to take care of your flute. To prevent tarnish, there are also anti-tarnish strips that you can purchase. Um, most of them are made by 3M. And so they're just tiny little strips of black specially treated paper that you lay in the bottom of your case that absorb a lot of the moisture and um, any sulfur that might be present in the air inside the case, which prevents your flute from tarnishing. For people who have maybe a little more money to spend or want something a little fancier than just a cloth on a stick, uh, there's also the Valentino flute wand. Now, I actually have one of these myself. I really, really like it. And it is a specially shaped, super absorbent felt that is shaped so that when you insert it into your head joint, just give it a twist and it cleans the entire head joint at once. And because it has corners, it gets right up next to the cork plate and just pulls all the moisture out with it. Um, these are a bit more expensive than your standard cleaning cloth, but they're really, really effective. I've had mine now for probably nine years, and it still looks as good as it did the day I bought it. As we've recently discussed, it is very important that your pads be dry when you put your flute away. My favorite thing to use to, to keep your pads dry is uh, the BG pad dryer, and it is a, a specially shaped piece of cloth that is specially designed for maximum absorbency. And all you do when you're done playing is insert it under the pad, gently close the key on it for a few seconds, lift the key and remove it. It is important though that you never drag it, never push the key down and then pull it out because that is a one-way ticket to a ripped pad and an expensive repair job. So never clamp and pull anything, even even the cigarette paper. I mean, you're more likely to tear the paper than, than the pad, but it's just a really good idea to never, ever drag anything from under your key. Always just sort of lightly tamp the key down and then make sure that the key is up before you pull your pad dryer out. And you can add years to the life of your pads by making sure that they are always dry before you put your flute away.